Well, hey guys, Bruce here. Okay, just to keep this short, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for the kind words. Uh, I'm up to a couple hours a day in the shop now, which is just great. And uh, But anyway, this next video is going to be uh, uh, just a short video on the dangers of this. Now this is a, a wedge, a splitting wedge, but the concept is, and I've in the video, I forgot, I forgot I had this in the shed, but it's just the dangers of uh, this mushrooming effect and what it can do. And uh, so I'm going to have to fix this one afterwards. But uh, so that's what it's about. And uh, thanks, everybody. I'm, I'm coming back. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, dudes. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video on uh, chisel safety. Uh, my brother-in-law was over the other day and he mentioned that when your chisels start to get mushroomed over like this, that if you look really closely, just a second, there are minute cracks in that mushroom and these can break off when you're hitting them with a hammer. Look at that one right there, it's almost broken off. So I've got all my chisels that have this mushroom, which are quite a few actually, right? Not some of them aren't bad. And I am going to uh, just use a grinder or hand grinder or something, I'm not sure which yet, to uh, remove these mushrooms because they can break off. He had one, he was beating on it with a hammer, and he had one break off. And it bounced off his, bounced off something and hit him in the cheek and gave him a black eye. He had safety glasses on, but he got a black eye from something like that. So anyway, I am going to just try and grind off, see if I can grind this off on a grinder or flap wheel or something. I'm not sure which yet. I'll try everything. And remember, your protection, my protection. See if we can get anywhere at all here. All right guys, now I'm just going to finish this up with the flap wheel. This one's an 80 grit flap wheel. I think that's going to work. I'll just I'll do them from biggest to smallest and I'll show you what I'm doing. That's not big. Alright, now I'm just touching up the chiseled edges.
Okay, on these chisels, I do the angle, one side this way, one this way, and then I just blunt it off so that it works better as a cold chisel. So I'm keep sharp, like that. I'll just touch these up too. This one's I'm going to keep a little sharper. Okay, that's pretty nice. Oh, anyway, that's it. Touch them up. Okay, here we go. That looks better. This, this chisel's been around the block, huh? But now it's uh, definitely usable again. This was the one with the big mushroom on it. And these two must be quality chisels because they had the, uh, the roundness ground into the top versus this chisel has a square right to the top and it's just a cheap Chinese one. This one too is, is a quality piece. I wonder what it says. No, it doesn't say anything. Good center punch, eh? Another center punch. You can last you a lifetime if you look after them. Not if you sharpen them like that every day, of course. But thanks for watching, guys.